This video explains how to add HTML code, JavaScript code into the custom and create a custom variable and then add that custom variable to the static block which you can then display onto your web page via the front end apps. So the first thing you would need to do, as you would see right now, there is no static block added for the add this code which I will be using as our example but can be done with any HTML code. First step is to go into your store admin and for the purpose of showing you the, co the reason to show you the reason for this I will create a new static block right now in the static block you will add your title Click Show Hide Editor and take your HTML code, paste it in, and click Save or Save and Save Block or Save and Continue. As you see, I had added the code. When you go back into the Show Hide Editor, the editor will then edit your code and remove any, I guess, undesirable code was the best uh, term. So I will delete this block now and show you the proper met steps using the custom variables. So you go to system, custom variables, add new variable, variable code, give it a variable code name, a variable name, can be the same, can be different, all up to you, and add your HTML code and any JavaScript code you may have as well if it can take JavaScript code uh, okay then you would click save continue or save either or but as you will see if you go back into the custom variable the code does not then get edited once done you will go to CMS static blocks add new block or to go to any current block whichever you desire to add the custom variable in this case again I am creating the static block as I had deleted it earlier click show hide editor if you already have code here you would either need to place the code the custom variable before your code after your code or any portion of the code that you would like to display it so you'd click your mouse in the position that you'd want it, wherever you'd want it in the code, and then click insert variable. Click on your custom variable that you just created, add this, and save the block. Once done, go to front end apps, add new front end app instance select the front app instance, in this case it's a static block, and click continue. Go to front end app options, select block, and select the static block you just created. Go back to front end properties, give the front end app a name, in this case I generally choose the same, sort order if you would like, not required. Click add layout update, and select where you would like the static block to appear. Once done, click Save. Go back to your store. And as you'll see, your static block has been added. If you click on the link, now obviously your code will be different than this, will give you some different results in terms of the Facebook or other links, depending on your HTML code. 